What is going on, you little nuggets? It is now week 15, and I will make a quick video to show you the new tile set that I've made. Yes, yeah, you can see uh, quite a lot has changed. So... If I just take care of the tutorial here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through it. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, I have repainted most of the stuff in the level. Uh, I think the fence here is the only thing I kept. But yeah, uh, I went for a little bit of a more minimalistic uh, building with, with, uh, I should you say, like plates or boards on the front in a, in a square pattern instead of the bricks that were before. So it looks a bit more futuristic. The, the tile set is more slanted, it's more flat than it was before. Uh, and I want to point your attention over to... Here, by the way, here's this gate I made, which I'm really proud of. So if I destroy these enemies, the gate will open. Signifying that I can progress. But yeah, I want to redirect your attention to this rooftop. This is the whole reason why I redesigned the tile set from the beginning. Uh, so, before it used to be that you could see the, the roof from a, uh, a top-down perspective. And there was this platform up here. Or there was the back uh, of the, the uh, rooftop was up there and people actually thought that was another platform you could walk on. So I had to make it more clear. And I also added this little orange line. I think it looks a little bit more cyberpunky, sort of like like the old Halo levels where you used to find decals on, on, on the walls, everything that was man-made. So it looks a bit more industrious and prefab maybe. I don't know. Actually, th this line I'm not quite happy with, but we'll we'll see where it ends up. But so yeah, I've tr I have followed a or I made a a color code system where blue is background, orange and red is platforms and walkables, and green and black are sort of decal objects that don't have collision data and you don't need to pay attention to them, but they're there to sort of fill out the scene a bit. And there's a lot of these signs and signposts. So if I move along here, you will see what is probably my favorite part of the level. I have little anarchist banners here. I figure since it's supposed to be one of the poorer districts in the city, might well be a, a riot going on. And you'll find anarchist symbols and a lot of these uh, posters, like there's actually a riot going on, like these illegally put up posters on the poster wall, declaring your political enemies. Uh, and yeah, I've made these banners in Japanese as well, I'll give you 10 points if you can figure out what they say, but let me explain. I thought the story behind it, or the the story so far that we have come up with is that this city is a megapolis on international water. Sort of a safe haven for anyone, regardless of their nationality, in the, in the near future. So it would be cool to have a lot of different signs and banners say things in different languages. So you walk in a Japanese district and then suddenly when you cross into the next section of the level everything's in English. And suddenly everything is in Arabian, or Norwegian, or Jiddish, or whatever. Would be a little bit cool. Russian is another language with acrylic I would really like to have. But yeah, that is all that has been done. It has taken too many hours. About working five hours a day for five or six days, I think. To do this whole sprite sheet. But yeah, that is it. So, for my big important announcement, so we are now one week ahead of, or one week until the deadline of our next alpha release. And I beg you to stay tuned until the next week, because I will, here on this channel, I will put up a link to the demo once it comes out, so you can try the game for yourself, if that entices your mind. I would be really glad if you did, and if you left your feedback either through the form that we have in the same folder, 
I will link that to next video or just give it to me personally if you message if you can message me or email me or just leave it in the comments here on this video or the next video on or any video or I'll re I read them all but yeah as for that now I really said everything there is so I will now leave you with this little thing so this is a little teaser for a mystery video that I'm gonna be putting up tomorrow you have your two of your favorite things you have chocolate and you have pizza and if you put them together you get yeah, you get I don't I don't really know either what you get but someone th apparently thought of this uh, and I bought a food product related to these two things that I'm gonna try out tomorrow and you will see what the hell can you make with these two things and how do, how does it turn out not to be a horrible disaster so yeah catch you guys tomorrow if you check that out otherwise check me out next week and i'll have the ready game for you to try